I'm Zara from Book Room United, and today I'm going to be talking about The Humming Room, a novel inspired by The Secret Garden by Ellen Potter. First of all, this book is um, based off of a book called The Secret Garden, so anybody who has read that book, I think that you'll be interested in reading this book too. Anyways, first, let's talk about the author. So, Ellen Potter is an American author who writes books for both children and adults. Some of these books are The Nebo Boy, Otis Duda, I think that's how you pronounce it, sorry if I got it wrong, and Piper Green and the Fairy Tree. Of course, she had written other books, but those are the ones that I have found. I hope you enjoy her other books, and now let me talk about the book. So this book is centered around a character named Rue Fanshawe, and her parents get murdered, so she's sent to live with her uncle. Actually, her parents get murdered in the first chapter, so I mean, like, talk about getting to the action. And there, she starts finding uncanny things. Rue Fanshawe doesn't believe in ghosts, so she knows that someone or something is making these noises. And the noises are humming that she keeps on finding in the hallways. Rue Fanshawe, being a curious and adventurous, she tries to find them. One day, she sees that her uncle had gotten bitten by something or someone. And she asks two other people who live in the house, Violet and Miss Valentine, about it. Val Violet tries to shake it off, telling her that nothing happened. He probably just tripped down the stairs or something. But Rue Fanshawe knows that there's something behind it. So, Rue Fanshawe starts to discover more and more secrets. She um, finds uh, a chute, actually. And so there's something about, how, about that chute. So remember, I said this is an old children's hospital. So that means the chute was what they did with the children when they die. So when the children died, they'd wrap them up in a yellow blanket and, well, push them down the chute so that their death would be a secret and nobody would ever know that they died. And then, when Ruth Fanshawe, of course, decides to slide down it, she finds some more secrets. There's this trap door that she finds that leads to a garden, but not any garden. It's dying. It's just all dead. It looks like it had been beautiful once, and there's so many different things in it, but now it's all brown and crumbling. Rue, she knows that um, she can't get sent away. She has to fix this garden. She has to make it come back to life, no matter what. So she starts hauling river water back to the garden where she meets a water spirit, which in the book he's called Jack. So Jack and his bird, Sir, also start helping her try to get into the river water uh, after he finds out about the secret garden. And Rue, discovering even more secrets, she finds something that surprises her. It's her cousin, who she finds locked up in a room, which is apparently his bedroom, filled with bones and skeletons of animals. He has a temper, and um, let's just call that a big issue for Rue. So Rue has to find a way to get on his good side. And when she actually does, she needs to f tell him that the garden is there, because there's something important about the garden that she finds out. So the wife of her uncle, Emmett Fenshaw, she's, she's dead. She's not there anymore. And the garden was her place. Phillips, her cousin, used to go there with her every time. And the humming that she heard was the humming that um, his mother had um, tried to make and um, Philip was trying to recreate it so that her mem he could remember her. And turns out that the earth makes the same noise. So when Rue Fanshaw tells, Fanshaw tells him about the humming, he, she knows that, okay, she has to show him the garden. There's, no, there's nothing going against it now. So she has to sneak him down the chute and into the trap door, but they do get caught by Violet. But Violet couldn't care less. Like seriously, she, 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 she didn't really care. She actually tried helping them bring back river water while Phillips told them about what the garden used to be like. And then all of a sudden, the un her uncle comes and finds them in, all in the garden. And he's furious. He locked the, gar the garden away for a specific reason, and he's mad that Rue had actually tried to open it again. But there's a reason for that too. Her uncle feels um, regret for 
his wife's death because he was the one who caused it. But he didn't do it on purpose. So his wife was from the Amazons, and that's where he found her. So um, he had tried to recreate the place where he had fi found her, and but there was one thing missing, and he wanted to find it, even though his wife t kept telling him, no, it's okay, you don't need it. But he, so he went back to the Amazons, got this red flower, this beautiful red flower. But there was one thing about it: there was a poisonous bug that he had picked that he had picked up in the flower, accidentally, of course. And once he brought it back and put it on this rock, like just like how she, he found her, he she sat on it and got bitten by the poisonous bug and died. Um, her uncle, feeling in the feeling that he was the cause of her death decided to close up the garden and totally forget about it so that he could forget about her death too, to pretend like it never happened. Her uncle, um, feeling bad about what he had done, he helps them restore the garden and that's how the book ends. The book ends with them all in the garden, all having a nice life together. And I think that's the most important parts about this book. So I hope you enjoy it, and um, have a nice day. Bye!